What am I currently reading? Stay tuned and find out. Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books, and today I've got for you what I am currently reading. Uh, we did this video last year? Um, yeah, we did it last year. Check it out up here if you have not seen that video, because you're going to see a few books that are probably the same. Um, so yeah, so basically what this is, is what I have got currently read, pretty, pretty much what I'm currently reading. What am I reading at the moment? These are the books I'm currently reading. Yes, if you are not in any of these books, make sure you check them out down below. We will have them linked down below. Again, at the time of filming, these are what I'm currently reading. When this probably goes up, I'll probably be done with three of them. I'm excited to get to this list and uh, share with you some of the books I'm currently reading. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for stuff like this, and let's get started. Alright, these first three books might look a little familiar from last year's video, but that's because I just haven't touched them since last year's video. The first book is Under the Dome by Stephen King. Yes, I am still currently reading this. I'm about 100 pages in and remember nothing about the story. So, odds are I'm probably going to need to restart this and the next two I'm going to talk about. I didn't really get deep into the books, like, all that well. I mean, this is the one I probably got the furthest in. Um... I got a couple hundred, I got a hundred pages in, and then the next one I got a couple, maybe 80 to 100 pages in, and then the one after that, not that much. Um, these are not DNFs by any means whatsoever. I am going to read these. Just a lot of things are coming up lately to where I just have gotten no time to read them at the moment. They, just because of their size, they're just a little more intimidating at the moment. Um, and a lot of people like these three books I'm going to talk about. A lot of people have these in, like, their top Stephen King books of all time. So this was the first one, Under the Dome, out of the three that are here. Um, this is the one I started second. And next I'm going to show you the one that I originally started in this list, and that is Insomnia. So I started this book... I think 2019 or January of 2020. I, I don't remember, but it was earlier on in my um, Insta, my book Instagram. It was early on in those days, and I haven't touched the darn thing since. And it's been, now we're going on almost a year and a half, coming up on almost two years, I think. I really want to get to these this year, but it's starting to get a little bit late in the season. Um, but yeah, no, Insomnia, this is the one that started this whole large book D, not DNF, the large book, I'm not finishing them at the moment, um, Under the Dome came second, and then the third one that actually a lot of people are probably going to say you have to finish is 112263. Um, I know I got to finish this, a lot of people have this in their top five or top ten or even as their top Stephen King book of all time, um, I'm just trying to... I, I'm just trying to figure out the right time to read it and when to finish it. The cover for this one looks absolutely stunning. I like it a lot. It is one of the hotter editions, which is the UK cover. Um, I, I just really just I, I need to finish all three of these, and the fact that they're like the three three out of the I think five biggest ones I still have left to read. It's I won't say it's annoying. It's just I just really need to figure out the timing and when to finish these things. So. Um, yeah, there you have Under the Dome, Insomnia, and 11.22.63. Alright, now let's discuss books that I do plan to finish within the next couple days. And the first one is House of Secrets by Darcy Coates. This is the sequel to House of Shadows by, well, Darcy Coates. Um, I am almost done with this book. I've got a couple chapters left. So far I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty much just like how the first one was, just... Well, the sequel to it. And the first one was actually my favorite Darcy Coates book I've read from her so far. I do have a couple that I think could be contenders, but so far House of Shadows have been my favorite, and House of Secrets is not that far behind, in my opinion. And they're not really that long either. Both of them are about the same size. But I'm very excited to finish this because I really am intrigued with how the story's going to end with Sophie and Joseph, unless there's a third one. I don't know how it's going to end if they're going to play it off like there could be a trilogy with this series or just a duology. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens with Sophie and Joseph and their battle against this creature that they're fighting. 
very excited to see how it goes. So there you have House of Secrets. All right, the next book is Someone We Know by Sherry Lapina. So I finished Not a Happy Family last month and I gave it five stars. It was absolutely a stunning book. Uh, this book so far has been very intriguing for me. I'm really into it and really enjoying it. Um, the blurb on the top pretty much is like, you, I'll just read it for you guys. Maybe you don't know your neighbors as well as you thought you did. Um, which is staying pretty relatively true with this book. Um, it starts out with this kid who, like, breaks into a couple houses and sends some fake emails through their thing. And the parents find out because his friend is an idiot and texts him saying, How did the break-ins go? And the mom, like, read the text and is like, What? And, like, starts freaking out about it. And so... It starts making, it starts stirring up the neighborhood a lot, and then what ends up happening is a murder takes place, and unfortunately, one of the houses the kid broke into happened to be one of the, vic the like, the victim's husband's house, so obviously everyone's freaking out, the parents are freaking out about it, and the truth comes out about a lot of things in the neighborhood between the neighbors that have been kept secret for a while, and, like, Everyone's like not really trusting anybody right now. So it's been a very good book so far. I've got maybe, I think, an hour and a half left in the audiobook. So that maybe put me maybe a hundred or so pages away from finishing it. But I'm very excited to finish this because Sherry Lapina has been a very good author for, well, Danielle and I. Um, she has not read this one yet. I'm the first one reading this. And Danielle is probably going to give this a read probably after I do. So. Yeah, there you have the uh, Someone We Know by Shari Lupina. All right, this next one, I need to keep this as brief as possible um, just because of purposes I have. Um, but I am currently in the midst of rereading The Shining. I'm not going to tell you why, and I'm just going to say that this book is pretty much just as good as I remember it, if not even a little bit better. So uh, I'm very excited to get more into this yeah I, I can't i don't really want to say anything more than that but it's a very good book still so pretty much what this book is about if you don't know which i talk about this book all the time um pretty much this family takes over the overlook hotel as the winter caretakers um jack torrance is a recovering alcoholic who lost his job as a teacher because he beat the crap out of a student um and he's got a major alcohol problem and the kid has got this special ability called The Shining that he finds out it's called, well, it's not like technically called The Shining, it's just what Dick Halloran, the, the overlooked chef, calls it because he has the same ability so they can kind of like talk to each other without talking. And he kind of gets like weird visions of like the future and the visions of the Overlook are not good for Danny and it's just a nightmare that's going on and... It's it's just such a good book. I absolutely love it, and I'm still enjoying the book. So there you have The Shining by Stephen King. All right, guys, so that is what I'm currently reading. Um, obviously, three of them are going to be finished soon, and the other three, kind of a toss-up. I don't know. Um, but, yes, if you are intrigued with any of those books, we will have them linked down below. Also, let me know what books you're currently reading. Maybe it's one that you started two years ago, just like I did. Um, but still, I would like to know. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, a few videos ago, we released a giveaway. Make sure you check out that video. We'll have that posted up here. It was my least favorite Kings plus 2,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. Um, the rules and stuff are all set in that video. So check it out. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Later.